Hello friends, in today's class, we will be studying about Fermi direct distribution. We had already studied about Fermi levels and Fermi energy in the previous classes and now we will be extending our study towards Fermi direct function which is nothing but as the probability distribution function of finding an electron below and above the Fermi level. So let's begin. <music> Fermi direct distribution is also known as the occupational probability. It is basically a probability distribution function which states the probability of finding an electron at a given energy level. As for quantum free electron theory, electrons are distributed among the various quantum states at any given temperature. Well, this means that if this is my energy state E1 and this is the next energy state E2, the electrons could be found at E1 or at E2, but it won't be found anywhere between. Or you can say electrons won't be present anywhere between the quantized energy states. Quantized energy states are the states which are fixed where the electrons will be found. The following considerations we have taken into picture while preparing the function of Fermi direct distribution. The first one is indistinguishability of the electron. Second, electron wave nature or the wave theory of the electron. And next is the Pauli's exclusion principle. Considering all the three factors, we have developed the probability distribution function and this appears as f of e equals 1 upon 1 plus e raised to e minus ef over kt. Where f of e is nothing but is the probability that the electron with energy equal to e. Basically, for any energy, if I want to find the probability, I'll be just plugging in the value for e and I'll be finding the probability of that electron. e is nothing but as energy level, ef is the Fermi energy, k is Boltzmann constant. You need to remember its value. Its value is 1.38 times 10 raised to power minus 23 joules per Kelvin. E is of course temperature in Kelvin. Now, let's take a case where T is equals to 0 and E is less than EF. Well, if E is less than EF, I can say E minus EF is less than 0 or I can say it is a negative quantity. Now, considering that equation, f of e is equals to 1 upon 1 plus e times e minus ef upon kt, I get the value of e minus ef as minus and since t is 0, I get the value as minus infinity. We all know that e raised to minus infinity is nothing but as 0 because it is 1 upon e raised to infinity and hence the value is 1. What does this mean? This means that all the energy states below the Fermi states are completely filled with electrons. Or I can say all the energy levels below the Fermi level are full. So if they are full, there is 100% probability of finding the electron below the Fermi level. Now, let's take a reverse case when T is equal to 0 but now E is greater than EF. It means now I'm concerned with that energy level which is above the Fermi level. So here I can say my E minus EF value is greater than 0 which is nothing but as positive quantity. So again plugging, plugging these values we'll be having F of E is equals to 1 upon 1 plus E raised to E minus EF divided by kt. So here the only difference from the previous is in this case your value will be equal to positive infinity since the term e minus ef is greater than 0. We all know that e raised to infinity is nothing but as infinity and 1 upon infinity will give me a probability of 0 which means that there are no electrons found above the Fermi level. So all energy levels above the Fermi level are empty and there is of course 0% probability of finding electrons above the Fermi level. Now let's take a third case where E is greater than 0 and E is equals to EF which means E minus EF is equal to 0. 
well as you know e minus ef is equals to zero here and t is greater than zero so this case is applicable for all the temperatures right from zero to infinity well if you plug in these values in the probability distribution function you will be getting this f of e is equals to 1 upon 1 plus e raised to 0 which means 1 upon 1 plus 1 which is nothing but a 0 0.5 as you can see this value is applicable for all the temperatures and hence the fermi level is also defined as the level at which the probability of finding electron is 50 percent and this definition holds true just because of this case now so something can be concluded from this is at temperature above zero kelvin only 50 percent of the electrons are to be found at the fermi energy level now this can be visualized with a graph this is the graph which i have taken and as you can see for different temperatures there are different curves on the graph now here you can see for zero kelvin this is what the graph would look like as the temperature increases to 600 kelvin the structure of the graph becomes like this as you can see the curve nature has increased so what will happen when the temperature increases well as the temperature increases the graph will tend to become more curve in nature as compared to the previous ones so this could be simulated in this as you can see with the varying temperature you can see the shape of the graph changing as the temperature goes below the graph is more sharp and as it goes above the graph is more curve thank you